one uh, and looks like we are live guys so hello 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 uh six figure mindset interviews with um, internet visionary bran campbell straight from hawaii aloha aloha thank you for having me on the show adam it's great to be here uh so so happy to to have you here so just let's let's get down to the business straight away you've got a beautiful weather there so i'm so so jealous here in england is learn is raining all week long so come on oh, no. so, so i just can't watch where you are i'm sorry you know it's just <laughs> i'm so jealous so I remember when it was painful to watch that sorry about that <laughs> uh so uh, brian just quickly if you can just tell us a little bit of your story uh what happened that happened that you are here so long time ago 20 years ago i got into online marketing i took a two dollar ad and turned it into a two million dollar business in my first 20 mind 20 months ever online and i've done various businesses in the past 20 years i also took a lot of time off spent five years in the maui rainforest as a monk for a while and um you know i've re-entered internet marketing and exited uh, with some other personal projects as well so i connected with adam a few months ago with an ambition to start a new tv network and started working with a really cool guy that is just a top pro at everything he does and he decided to invite me to be on the show here today so that's why we're here uh talking about the new tv network that's starting and just how to expand your mindset and your business so that's the short version of of why we're here today <laughs> perfect i appreciate this so uh, guys if you are watching live drop us hashtag live if you're watching replay because you're going to be on various channels uh drop hashtag replay uh, welcome thanks for watching if you got any questions to brian or to myself just uh, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments and brian tell us a little bit about journey tv about your baby that i'm so happy to be part of uh, i would say creation team so journey tv is a little bit different than uh, just an ordinary television network so there's for a long time i forecasted that uh, tv is going to leave the networks like your local tv network on abc nbc and here in the states uh the bbc over in england where you're at adam and uh, we've seen it migrate from traditional TV networks to sites like Netflix, Hulu. There's also niche down version TV networks like Gaia Network, and there's some other ones out there as well. So when you typically watch TV, like you binge out on Netflix, all you're really getting is entertainment value from that. But essentially, as an entrepreneur and a business person, when you're watching like movies and television, you're basically making someone else a billionaire because Correct. you're watching someone else's content, you're empowering their advertising network, and you're doing all of that. So uh, while I don't discount the entertainment value of watching comedy or drama series that are very well put together, it's actually awesome that you can watch that for $15 a month to have access to these multi-million dollar productions. But at the same time, you're wasting your time. You're not getting a lot of value for yourself. So we wanted to create a situation where you could watch a TV network, watch a weekly TV show that would lead you on a journey or a process of personal transformation so that there's a point to watching the show. So you could watch it as entertainment, but you could also connect with the show hosts and the personalities that are actually there to help you. So we've created this new uh, Journey TV concept to lead you on a transformational process of to have more health, wealth, and happiness in, in your life. And that's essentially what we're doing with Journey TV. It sounds awesome. Uh, it sounds super interesting. And I'm so excited that uh, it's going live. So if you can just tell us now when, when is the premiere, when is actually going live, and uh, what can we expect uh, actually from it? Okay, so 15 new weekly shows are going to start airing tomorrow, which is December 14th. Um, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, we have our first episode that's going to air. Then immediately after that, we have our second episode. Uh, Adam has a show on this network. He's airing a few days later. Uh, actually, the next day, I believe, Adam. I'm not looking yeah, at the schedule now. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I think it's a, it's a Tuesday, uh, 5.30 Eastern time, yeah. 
So Adam's show is the second day, and then we have shows every day uh, of the week, uh, starting at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time up until 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, there's still a few openings for future shows. Uh, we're going to expand this to 24-7 programming in the next six months. Perfect, and it sounds super excited. And uh, to be fair, there's lots of uh, cool people involved in, uh, in, uh, in the process, involved in in actually creating this 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 tv and this super open project uh, evaluating as we go which i love about it because it's mm -hmm. it's it doesn't have like a like a really really you know um walls i would say boundaries no it's uh, mm -hmm. lots uh, uh, it's in our I imagination which i really mm -hmm. really uh, appreciate it so what what kind of ideas what kind of mindset is is behind such a brave and original idea well i've always realized that it's good to push the boundaries of what you think is possible and this is the six figure mindset but i want to give like an eight or a nine figure mindset here because uh, my dad actually encouraged me for years when i was a teenager he would say you know he would see things starting to happen like when facebook first emerged and he would say well, why don't you create something like that and back then, my mindset was smaller, where I'd say, no, I'm, I'm an internet marketer. I'm happy making like a million dollars a year. And then I achieved that level because that's all I thought was possible. Uh, but just as the personal challenge, um, there's two parts of this challenge. First, there's the money challenge, right? Like, why not be a billionaire? There's less than a thousand people worldwide that have achieved that. So uh, one of these is to actually, just for the simple challenge of not a lot of people have reached that billion dollar level, to reach the billion dollars. Now, why do I care about a billion dollars? It's not really that important to me. Once you make a few million, your life doesn't get exponentially better because you have twice the money, 10 times the money. But I feel a sense also of responsibility now with, if you look at the way the world is going, like jobs disappearing. Um, in the past, it was always good to be an entrepreneur and have your own business, but it was more feasible to like work a regular job, have a family and still live a like an okay life if you had a good career. But the trend really is shifting to where you either have a business and you can grow and like do well and thrive. Or if you're working for somebody else, you're, you're just going to get squeezed more and more. It's becoming more impossible to do that, um, to live a decent life, you know? So I just feel it's our responsibility to empower as many people. Um, and it's really through the media because I don't know about you, but I get frustrated when I just see people seeing something on TV and believing it. And there's so much nonsense, so much information, misinformation. Like they've done audits of like the major news networks and they find that they're 17% accurate. And that's what we call the news. So it's really up to us to put the message out there. And we need a, a vehicle, a platform where we can reach millions of people because it's a cop out if you say, well, the world's doomed. I don't like where it's heading. If you don't like where it's heading, you have to create something new. Or else, if you're not willing to do that, you have to accept what other people are going to create and, ha and hand to you. So if you're expecting it from the government, you you lose the right to complain that the government's not giving you the life you deserve. If you expect it from a job, you have no right to say that you should pay me more money. You have to be willing to take what that job wants to give you. Why I love business so much is it's a place where you can create the life you want. And there really aren't any rules. I mean, as long as you're legal and ethical, um, you have the freedom to create your own income, to create your own lifestyle. Um, you know, Adam said something really profound in, it's a little clip in the first episode of journey.tv where he said, you know, the freedom lifestyle to him was being able to create ideas on the fly and to switch it on and off at will. So imagine having a business where you can hit record on your cell phone and talk for 20 minutes when you have an inspired idea and then turn it off. And then like, I would just turn around and jump in this pool. Okay. So at the end of this interview, I'm going to be jumping in that pool with a ice cold beer. Um, that's the lifestyle that I'm like, this is work right now. Look, look at where we're sitting. This is business. This is work. Nobody's going to pay me, you know, seven figures, eight figures to live like this. They would want me to be in that cubicle making, $40,000 a year working like really hard uh, so that they can be at the beach house, you know, celebrating their business success.
Yeah, I, I absolutely, absolutely love it, and and I think this is this is just cute that this is no no boundaries. There is no, as I said, just a structure. You can actually, I know it's a bit cliche, but I truly believe it, and 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 my mindset is actually there. You can mm. be whoever you want to be, and you can go wherever you want to go, how far you want to go, and this is all here. Yeah, and it's all here. Yeah, it's mm. and nobody can stop you if you want to do it. And yeah, I had a, a couple of months ago interview with uh, with um, Franco Urbes, and he said one great, great thing. He said, "Look, somebody who is working nine to five, he's gonna make one million dollar eventually, but it's gonna be yeah. over. It's gonna be over fifty years. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so the matter is not how to make million, but." But actually, how to uh, what time is gonna take you to actually make it, you know? And this mm -hmm. is this is a bit, uh, a bit um, obviously diverse, but you know, guys, let's be open, let's be open to scale up, let's be open to take our dreams, our businesses to the next level. There are no boundaries, yeah, and and this is the most important thing. Uh, both of us, Brian and me, we mm -hmm. we know that we know that our success is here, yeah. And as he said, it's here as well because you need to be ethical, you need to be legit, but you need to believe it and you need to drive it straight from there to the success. It's it's not a popular truth here. Whenever a lot of people don't want to hear the truth, okay. So we have to speak truthfully because if you if things aren't the way that you want them to be in your life uh the reality and the truth is you are living the life that you're choosing to live you've bought into what other people tell you like maybe you're trying to please your parents or you know your wife says well we need that secure nine to five job uh, but you're already living the life that you've designed like you're accepting that so uh, i think the biggest reason why people who follow online marketing or they start learning about business, they look at this. I've dealt with this living in Hawaii. Like a lot of people in the U S um, they say, well, I'd love to live in Hawaii. Well, this is just another state. If you really wanted to live here, you buy a plane ticket, you move here. It's a normal place. You can live here. But a lot of people have this thing about it being a fantasy, right? Like, Oh, I would love to just go there one day. And for a lot of people it is, but it's the same thing with online marketing, business success. You may read books about it and hear people talking about it. You're watching us here talking about it. So what's lacking? Well, if you believed it was possible, you would be here with us. You'd be sitting next to me on this interview. Now, why aren't you? I think one of the main reasons why people don't get there is you don't know enough people that you can like call. Uh, so my secret is get to know 10 to 20 people that you can pick up the phone. You know them well enough to call and talk to them who are living the lifestyle, the goals, like they've achieved what you want to achieve. You know, we often talk about mentorship and it's just with everything in life. If you surround yourself with people that work at jobs who are miserable and unhealthy and unhappy, well, what are you going to learn from them? You can't learn success secrets from unsuccessful people. But if you're surrounded by people who are doing it, that's just naturally going to rub off on you and you can talk to them like they'll give you advice. I mean, that's the people you should be getting advice from, which is also why we're here to create that type of community. Yeah. And and, and people sometimes they 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 feel kind of ashamed to to mm -hmm. to think ahead, to think high, to just don't have this these boundaries and to don't don't have ceilings, I would say. Yeah, uh, because. To be honest, guys, there is no ceiling. Yeah, we are creating, we are creating the ceilings in our head. Yeah, am I yeah. right, Brian? This That's is it. absolutely right. It's absolutely right. Look, I will just be point blank with you. I was retired from the internet. I was doing no business online. My process of marketing is I have a process that I developed where I can come out of nowhere, become an industry leader, build the authority, and all of a sudden, everyone like with with nothing pre-made just by making the right connections and all of a sudden everyone will take me seriously. Okay. So two months ago, I'm completely offline. No one knows who I am. And I have the idea. I want to create a TV network. It was two months ago. I was able to do this like with no investment of my own. People have invested in this TV network. 
We have 15 new shows coming out. I just had the concept that not only is it possible, I know that if I put my mind to it and I go out and just start a TV network without even knowing how to do it, then I will connect with the right people. Well, in that process, unbeknownst to me, I meet Adam. He's worked in the industry. Uh, his son is this genius TV editor. Like he's made all the commercials for journey.tv. And the thing is, all you need to do is have a clear vision and a goal of what's possible. And the belief that, okay, I'm an intelligent person. I can go and start doing it. And you just start asking the right questions. I mean, you have access to all the information in the world. Go to YouTube, read a book. I mean, it's out there. Start talking to people who know how to do it. I mean, uh, you're connected with Adam. I will tell you right now, Adam knows, like when it comes to marketing your business, setting up automations, I mean, this is cutting edge stuff that Adam knows that uh, most super successful business people don't even know that. So like you don't realize how close you are to making miracles happen because you don't have to do it all yourself. You just need to work with the two things that I focus on, work with top people, quality people, and then people who are going to do what they say they're going to do. So the minute someone doesn't show up to an appointment or they just start making promises they don't keep, stop wasting your time. Find people like Adam, like us, like we only work with people that are dedicated and driven to making it happen. And it has nothing to do with your natural ability. There's people around who have a lot of natural ability who are waiting to connect with you because maybe you have the personality. They've got the ability. There's, there's different roles we all play here. And when you build the right team, you become unstoppable. Absolutely. This is power of connection. This is power of surrounding, surrounding yourself by, by great like-minded people, people who share right. the vision with you, but they are not afraid to ask. They are not afraid to ask for this vision. They are not afraid to ask and just reach, you know, reach, not only ask, because you actually need to make things happen. And this is big difference. Just take action. I know it's a cliche, but this is all about taking action. Actually, guys, this is this is the thing because we can talk lots of things. Brian, he could have been talking for five years about uh, creating TV, but he just took an action. He took, of course, imperfect action, which I love yeah. as well. And now, <laughs> see many mistakes along yeah, the way. <laughs> and now two two months uh, two months in, and tomorrow, which is Monday, TV yeah. is on. Can you imagine this? Just taking by taking imperfect action, be surrounded uh, with right people, reach out to them, tell them, guys, this is what we're going to do. And we are doing this. This is the thing. Imagine, imagine if you can turn your widest dreams or dreams that you thought is never going to happen into actually reality. This is what is happening here. I have, I'm, I'm super, super uh, excited to be to be part of it and 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 you know it's it's incredible and i'll give you one tip right now so let's say you have a business and this we run into this all the time i've been stuck there in the past myself you're making hundred thousand dollars a year as an online marketer right you're making 10 grand a month plus you know the goal that everyone's out there promoting you know learn how to make 10 grand a year you're there you're doing it right how do you hit that next level well you're going to need a different strategy, a different tactic. So I want to challenge each and every person who's in that category right now. Um, if you're not at that level and you're just trying to get started, hey, we've got journey.tv here where we have lots of experts. Just start watching that. You're going to get many ideas to go from zero to exactly. that level. But to go from six figures up, I know that there's a lot of people watching this who are struggling with, you know, you're so busy maintaining that action because you're, there's a lot – like, I know exactly what you're doing. You're doing all these activities. You can't double it. You can't five times it. You can't 10 times it. It's not possible. Okay. So you need a different strategy to move forward. I want to challenge anyone here who's making like, you know, the minimum, like 10 grand a month, kind of easy to do if you're half smart, you followed the advice that everyone else is talking about, right? There's, you, know, you spend three or $5,000 on one of those programs. You can get there pretty easy. There's so many people we're connected to that are dealing with that level. It's actually I'm only mentioning there's so many people out there because that's an opportunity in itself. There's so many people who are doing this kind of lifestyle successfully. If you're not there, I'm just telling you, it's not that hard for you to get there if you take it seriously. But for the people, a lot of people struggle to get from 100,000 to a million. And I want to challenge each and every one of you right now. Put it in your mind. Say, you know what? 
I want to make I'm, I want to hit 10 million, not because I need 10 million dollars, but because it'll make me a really dynamic, incredible person. If I could achieve that goal and just decide in your mind, you know what, today I'm actually going to adopt the actions of someone who's makes 10 million dollars a year. And you may not know how to begin that process, but I'll tell you right now, you could message Adam and say, Adam, OK, I've just made the goal. Let, let us know you've made this goal in your heart and in your mind and you're dedicated to it. And guess what? We have all the connections to make that possible. So it's as simple as sending a private message to Brian and Adam. And because these are the people we work with, like we we can't work with anyone who's not at that level. But I will tell you right now, that first step can take you much further than you ever believe possible and to just challenge yourself like i'm on a billion dollar mission here now here's the thing maybe i don't hit the billion now i say that with a carrot i'm gonna hit the billion there's no doubt about it but let's just say what if it didn't happen well if i set the goal at a billion and i'm seriously trying to do that i'll probably hit 10 million 50 million 100 million fairly easily right um even if i only end up making 10 percent of that goal i've already exceeded what most people's goals ever would be does that make sense? It makes perfect sense, and and I would just gonna say one one more thing, guys. It's not a it's not about money. It's about it's not about money. Yeah. It's not about money at all. It's about raising your bar. It's about leveling up. It's about bringing your business every time to the next level to to manifest your goals, to manifest your dreams, to follow them, to go up and up and up. Take. People with you, of course, be surrounded with these people and all the time scale, level up, follow your vision, follow your dreams and just show to yourself that you are capable because you are. This is the thing. And so I talk in money terms initially. Now, I do this intentionally because a lot of people have this money mindset, $10,000, $1 million, $10 exactly, million, yeah. million. So that is why I start talking about that. But as Adam said, the money is not the thing. The thing is impact. The thing is, can you create something that matters, that changes lives, that reaches? So, you know, the goal, of the, billion, the goal of the billion is not important. We want to reach hundreds of millions of people to make a positive change in their life, to create health, wealth, and happiness. So uh, that, if we end up reaching 100 million people, that will translate to billions of dollars. So it's the same goal, although the money for me, is not really the motivation other than it would be a cool thing to say I did that just for my own personal uh, thing here. Adam talked about leveling up and scaling up your business. Okay. So we mentioned how to do that. Now, when it comes to mindset, there's something that people really get stuck on. It's following the common advice that everyone else is already doing. The problem with that is someone figured something out two or three years ago that worked. Okay. That worked really well. They were like an overnight success with it over a six month period because on the internet, things evolve really quickly. So what happens is it can't be kept secret for long, the strategies that work. So something that was pioneered, let's say three years ago, had a good run, six months, that was the best strategy to do at the time. Well, now they go and get testimonials and they sell a program and they start teaching people how to do that. And then a lot of people will imitate that. So. If you always follow other people's strategies that's been proven to work three years ago, you're basically investing in the super competitive dying thing that's really hard to make it at. There's three ways to make it. One is to be first. The second is to be the absolute best. And the third is to cheat. Well, we don't believe in anything unethical, so we're not gonna cheat, so we that's off the table. Now, being the very absolute best, if you're able to be the best, then you're going to succeed by imitating everyone else because you'll find the person who did it well and then you'll win as far as competition goes because you'll just be the best, right? So you have like Tamara who was on last week. Like she's like at, at how she's doing it, she's one of the best, right? But it's super competitive. If you can't be as good as Tamara, you're going to have a hard time competing with someone like her, okay? So the only other option is to be first. So you don't do it the same way everyone else is doing it. And when you look at online marketing, people focus on really a small few things that can be done. Uh, you know, buying pay-per-click or pay-per-view ads like Facebook ads, YouTube ads. I'm not knocking that at all. Those are very good things to do. That should be part of 
any successful business's plan. Um, but you really are only dealing with 5% of what could be done. Um, so you really need to look at where the trends are going and to invest in the processes on just for instance, a new social network like TikTok, right? That is something you could really leverage if you were smart and, and knew how to do it. Now, as one person, as one business owner, as one entrepreneur, there's no way that you can leverage five or 10 new platforms with multiple different strategies. You need to automate it and you need a team of people to implement for you because you need the speed of realizing something's a good opportunity. And if you take three or six months to move over to that platform, to try it, to get results, by then it's too late. So time scale, really, yeah. Yeah, you need to be fast, right? And uh, one of the TV hosts at Journey TV, Ron Archibald, he said, it used to be that the big ate the small. And now it's the fast eat the slow. And I think that's such a powerful concept. You need to be quick with your implementation. And if you try to work on your own, I mean, look, if you, live broadcasting is such a good thing to do. So anyone watching this, you have a great technique. Go live more often. Why go live more often? Even though it's a good thing to do, it's easy to do. 90% of people, 95% of people don't do it. And Facebook really wants that live video contact out, content out there and YouTube and all that stuff. Now you have the recording that you can syndicate to other places. That's something each and every one of you should do. But now you're also, when you're competing with companies that are organized that have 10 different social channels and they have teams of people editing raw footage together, like now you're competing with something like a journey.tv where we've got an elite team of videographers, editors, like we're just cranking this stuff out 24 seven. Very hard for an individual to compete with that. So you either need to align with something like that or you need to invest in building that for your own uh, business because, yes, the opportunity for an individual is still there, but it's just going to get crushed by organized, smart people uh, that just invest in a little bit of resources. I mean, it's, it, I mean, for what you would spend in your normal YouTube monthly ads or Facebook ads, you could be setting things up that, that scale on a much higher level, um, which is what Adam and I talk about almost every day, right, Adam? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it. And and guys, I will I will tell this one more time. Please do remove ceilings from your life. Yeah. See, I mean look up there, there is actually a blue sky. Even even here today in England mm -hmm. when it's raining and it's gray sky actually, I can see I can still see it blue out there, you know? And this is the perspective, this is the mindset how you look at your life, at your business. And again, which I, I would like to, to touch one more thing. You need to remember that offline and online are actually crossing each other all the time because lots of people are forgetting that, oh, we are doing business online, so only what is online exists. Guys, when you're switching your phone off or your or your laptop off, you are actually offline, yeah? You're so offline, yeah. <laughs> your wife is uh, online, your family is online, your friends are offline everybody's offline when you're actually talking to them yeah so lots mm -hmm. of decision lots of things going on on the back is actually offline yeah so that's why we need to understand how this fundamental psychological triggers in our lives works yeah because if you understand them we will understand how the psychological triggers works with our customers yeah and, and this is mm -hmm. super important People forgetting about this, they are basics. They are foundation of relationship, but also business. And offline and online doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Triggers doesn't matter, yeah. are the same. And it really comes down to fundamentally when we talk about removing ceilings, what it is is this. You will get exactly what's in accordance with who you are. It's not what you have. It's who you are. If you took all of Bill Gates' money away tomorrow, he would get it back because he's Bill Gates. He has no doubt in his mind. He would just pick up his phone and call the people he knows, and he exactly. would put it back together in record speed. Same with Donald Trump. Love him or hate him, he was billions of dollars in debt. He got it back because in his mind, he knows, I'm a billionaire. Like For him, it would be a complete disaster and a failure in life to be only have $100 million you know, $100 million, that's a failure to him. So his thermostat is set at a higher level. Now, 
I'm talking about money because a lot of people can relate to money, but really in your mind, you have to be the person that you want to be or else you'll be discouraged and, and depressed. So you don't wait to get started being that person. You know, in, in spirituality, there's this common saying, it's a great saying, what would Jesus do, right? Because if you want to be like with the Christian model, you know, if you want to be a spiritual person, Jesus is your example. So you should really think about, you know, what would someone like Jesus do in this situation? And that's like how you, you would be a spiritual person, right? Well, think about, find what you want to emulate in a business sense and say, okay, what would that person do in this situation? Or just envision yourself as the person that you really want to be. And then, you know what? You will never be that person if you don't have the demeanor, the habits, and the daily routines and the way you operate needs to be of that person. So if you're making, like you're operating at this level and you're doing all the work for your business and then you want to grow it 10 times, well, you need to learn how to delegate. You need to have a team working on things for you and you have to stop doing it all yourself. For me, I was stuck for a long time in business because I didn't get that lesson. I just kept wanting to do it all myself because my ego wanted to be the genius that could do it all. And I'm smart enough to figure anything out. But the time it takes and it burns you out, I realized I can't do it alone. I need people to go here. And there, you have a few choices. You could choose to do this step by step slowly because that's more comfortable over time. Or you could say, you know what, I'm here and I don't want to be here. I want to be here. And you just begin operating at that level today. You don't have to wait. You get started immediately. You know, if it doesn't make sense for someone where you want to be to act that way, you just knock it off. Quit doing it that way. Be, I mean, really it's being. It's just imagine if you wanted to like any goal. What's a goal, Adam? Let's let's pick one here. Um, well, like let's look at some type of business. Mm, I know. Uh, what's the goal? Let's uh, scale I'm making 10k now. Let's get this business to 100k a month, for example. That's the goal. Okay, so 100k a month. Now, if you're a business owner that makes 100k a month, do you think you're going to be sending strangers private messages on Facebook Messenger and adding them as friends to people you've never met before? Is that an authentic action of someone who's making that much money? Like, or just think of a professional rock star, TV star, multimillionaire, successful person, you know, would Bob Dylan or Jay-Z, would Jay-Z be adding a friend that he doesn't know on <laughs> Facebook or Instagram? Would he be asking anyone to follow him on Instagram? No. So I how can know. you expect to get to that level if you're doing that kind of thing, right? You're giving away your power. Now Absolutely. that presents a unique question. And many people who are making 10 grand a month who want to go to the 100K, they're afraid. What if I stop doing that? That's my bread and butter. That's how I'm making my 10 grand. Well, you need to do what you would do at the 100 grand level. So you would have a team of people pr creating and editing content for you. They'd be producing all of this content that goes out on multiple channels, syndicated. You'd be running ad campaigns. You'd have automation that would follow up with, you know, getting people to download a free course, watch a free TV show like on Journey TV, and then they get into a system where they would send messages and then things are automatically responded to to give people opportunities to talk to a sales team. You see what I mean? Like it would generate leads for you while you're here at the beach. And maybe you would take the time to do an interview because then like after I spend this half hour doing this interview, this video file is going to be syndicated to hundreds of different websites. And six months from now, when I'm in the jacuzzi and I'm not working for that week, people are going to be calling my sales team because they responded to a message that was attached to this. And the business is going to grow without me. Now, at that $10,000 a month level, it wouldn't be possible. It would require me sending a message to someone in Messenger and then, you know, talking to them long enough, commenting on their posts, finally getting them on the phone. And that can be done. I mean, we're experts at doing this, but you're not going to grow to the $100,000 a month or million dollar a month level doing that. It's just not physically possible. It's not, yeah, absolutely. It's not, it's not the way I am I'm into this. And <laughs> you just, you were saying before uh, about uh, to be this person that you want to be and to, to, to mastering this by 
times and uh, and uh, and actually effort put in it uh, working on yourself etc etc i i would like to touch about uh, the guy who probably people who who like football which is actually in mm -hmm. america called soccer uh cristiano ronaldo is it's a i think it's a, a pretty known celebrity all over the world i i read recently a interview with the guy who who used to work with him for many many years in in Real Madrid and he said one thing when Ronaldo when Ronaldo was walking on the pitch before the game started in his head he was winning 1-0 mm -hmm. he never started a game from 0-0 because he it was always 1-0 it was always one they were always winning 1-0 in his head before even the first referee whistle that's he, good in his head he was already winning 1-0 that's the mm -hmm. thing. This is the mindset, you know. And the guy achieved everything by by hard, super hard work, but also also his mindset. He had a winning mindset. This is the thing. The in spirituality, it's been talked about for thousands of years. Modern science is confirming it. So if you've never heard of something called the reticular activating system, Google that. That's basically the science that says your brain doesn't know the difference between memories and your imagination. So your brain, if you're visualizing that that score is one zero, you're winning, your brain thinks that's true. So then you act as if that were true. Your brain knows no difference. If you visualize it using all your five senses, I mean, all of the major religions have talked about this for thousands of years. In the Bible, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. So if you don't have a vision, you're dead. And this Absolutely. is in every other major religion has that same idea. Like, so it's, you know, I'm not trying to promote a religion here, but I'm saying this is wisdom that we've lost that we're now reclaiming. Science confirms it. Um, you know, this is, these are the secrets of the Kings. Uh, Absolutely. You know, people in control, the, the peasant mindset is what's taken over uh, because of the media, because there's a lot of sinister people out there that want you to just believe that I can still work a job and then spend 30 years paying for the house. And I'm going to work full time so that I get two weeks a year off where I can enjoy life for two weeks a year. But you know what? It's probably going to be a drag for the 50 weeks where I have to work to pay for this 30 year mortgage. The word mortgage in Latin means death grip. They've got a death grip on you paying this mortgage off. Whereas what if you could work a plan to make that same money in one or two years, pay for the property and then live free. Like, I mean, my ambition isn't to just be doing business and just like working, right? Um, it's just to create freedom so that we can travel, so that the family's not stressed about uh, making ends meet, so that, you know, the grandchildren can can learn and become the people they want to be, artists and, and you know, the right type of people. So, But if you're struggling just to survive, you're not going to fulfill those basic needs of uh, you know, developing your passion and your skills. This is not going to be possible because you're buying into this peasant mindset. And it's what we really want to break people free from here with this six figure mindset interview. Absolutely, and, and there's a great, great question from, from Victoria. What's your best advice for lack of confidence, Brian? I think it's a, you, you, you already said this, but if you can just touch on this would be, would be great because I think this is the, the right question at this very second. But that's a great question. And that's a question that comes up so many times when we're dealing with people. So a lack of confidence is from not knowing what to do. So it's a lack of knowledge too, but then not trusting your ability because you haven't done it yet. So exactly. really the biggest shortcut to that would be to work with like a mentor, like a coach. And I mean, I'm, this is at the risk of sounding like saying what everyone else says, it really is true. You need to work with someone, either a peer who's just like you and you're working through it together. So when you go to lose weight, they always say it's good to get a workout buddy. Someone who's going to go with you and do it with you or someone a little ahead of you who can teach you and guide you because then you can trust. Let's just look at a personal trainer. You're trying to get in shape. You don't have confidence. Like I've never, you could, maybe you're thinking I've never been physically fit. I've never gotten in shape. I've read books. So I kind of know how to do it, but I've never done it. So how could I do it? I don't have any confidence. Well, if you were to work with a trainer, what they'll do is they will say, okay, you're doing that correctly. Keep doing that. And they'll say, okay, well, here's the mistakes you're making. So like, you'll get confidence when someone points out, okay, here's why you're not getting good results because you're making these few mistakes. But 
focus on these good things that you are doing because you are doing some things right. That will give you confidence because you, you can trust the person who has the experience. If you don't have that experience, you don't have those results, you need to connect with someone who has, who's done it, who's already there, who already has those results. And then they will encourage you by saying, okay, you're doing this right. You want to change this. And then the shift will happen. They will, if they're a good leader, they will get you to start having your own results. And then you'll be able to trust your own ability, your own experience, because once you've done it, you know, like I have any amount of mindset, meditation, all that stuff is great, visualizing success, but there's really no replacement for me. Like making millions of dollars online, I, I don't doubt that's possible. I've done it, right? So you don't need to convince me that that's possible. Now, for someone who hasn't done it, they would say, well, you know, am I really a person who can do that? Like, I don't have confidence. Like, who would believe that I'm someone worth dealing with? Well, you need to get those results by doing it. They'll never come by not doing it. And until you have the experience, if you hook up with people who have it, you can basically ride their experience, ride their results. Or, you know, like in the old days, you would become an apprentice to a master and you would learn the skill. And you would get the experience by working with them. And back in the day, if you wanted to become a blacksmith or any type of vocation, right, you hook up with a master or in China, you know, there's this ancient art of Qigong, which I'm a dashi jia to teach Qigong. I'll be coming out with that show later. Uh, you are basically an apprentice to a master. You work with them for many years and you have to buy that. Like in the past, you didn't just join an apprenticeship and, and like work as their employer for free. You had to give a goat. You had to give something of value to learn that skill. Okay. So don't think you're going to get it for nothing. Sometimes you can find these opportunities where it's spending time, but you connect with someone who knows how to do it. I'm not saying that's the only way you can learn on your own. It's just a harder path and it's the certain path. It's good for certain people, but if you lack confidence, you need to get with someone who will build your confidence for you until you have like, you're not lying to yourself. You have a legitimate confidence because you've done it. Does that make sense, Adam? Yes, absolutely. Yes, it does make yeah. sense. And and I always, I'm always saying this that you actually you you can learn from someone who is only a little bit ahead of you. It doesn't mean that, that he just he's just like ten years in front of you. No, it's I really, really, really love the story which I'm always telling. You know that you you going uh, let's say for a walk in the in the forest and and somebody is coming in front of you from the path that you are actually going and you're asking them look i would like to make like a another half an hour loop can you can you can you tell me and he said yes no problem by then in 500 meters you need to you will see like an old church so turn left and then uh, if after another uh, 100 meters you you turn back left again uh, next to this old uh, tree and mm -hmm. is this guy a professional Forest no, Ranger. He's just, been there. he's just been there. Yeah. He's just been there 10 minutes before you. You know what I'm saying. And, so and he'll say, Don't go right. There's a pit there. If you fall in that, it's gonna take you a while to get out. And that could be helpful. Right. He's that's not an the, expert. He's just a guy that's been there. That's the that's the situation. I'm not saying it always works, right. but in some situations like, like this, it works, you know. But if you as Brian said, if you want to actually level up, if you want to scale you need to ask for help for to people you need to reach out to people who actually can do it you know because again as you were saying a few times uh, during this during this life guys even if you are working nine to five uh, in a normal job you're gonna eventually earn million dollar but it's gonna take you 40 years so now That's we're right. talking about scale so if you want to scale if you want to make money probably as brian said you will figure it out yourself in a few years, five, ten, if you are smart, maybe in three. But do you actually want to do it? Or you just want to do everything in six months, for example? Or figure out how to get 80 people working for six months to make the 40 years, right? I mean, actually, when people work together, it's it multiplies it. But, you know, 40 years worth of work. Well, if you had 20 people doing it, it would take two years, right? On right. simple math, even though it, it doesn't, it works better than that. It would happen even faster. But that's a simple math way to think about it. And Absolutely. so my biggest tip 
for most people here is make friends with the people who are doing it. The whole excuse and reason why we have Journey TV is so you can connect with these people. So, I mean, you can look at the shows that we have and the shows that we're coming out. There's communities connected to these shows and you could find these people pretty easily by like, let's say you want to do online marketing. So there's a few shows there. If you check it out, you'll see there's ones that talk about online marketing. So you subscribe to the show, you watch it instead of watching Netflix where it doesn't do anything for you. And then if you watch it live, there's going to be people commenting on it. So when you see certain comments, you'll connect with people that maybe are a little bit more advanced than you or Sometimes it's good to help someone who's a little behind you because when they ask questions uh, and you've already done it, that also builds your confidence. So you don't have to subscribe to a mentor every time. You could become the mentor for someone a little further behind you. And then when they say, oh, thanks, I didn't know that, you'll realize you actually know more than you gave yourself credit for. That's another way to build confidence. Well, it doesn't matter whether you're the one ahead or the one behind. If you just go connect with people where now you have 10 friends who all have similar goals, Uh, you know, watching these episodes, we have a purpose here, make friends with the people who are connected to it. I mean, we're, we're just creating all the opportunities for you to add them as a friend on Facebook, Um, start talking to them offline. Like don't just comment with them on Facebook. Once you get a good rapport and you get start to get knowing people like say, Hey man, I've really enjoyed your comments. It's been fun talking with you online. Hey, could I, maybe we should talk offline sometime. And the most valuable connections for me have just been people that I've talked to on the phone for a half hour or more. I mean, Adam and I laugh about this. We met online. We didn't really know who each other were and we talked, we just had like a nice one hour conversation and that led to us working together in a, a really cool way. And neither of us expected that. All I understood was if I get him on the phone, then that's a chance for a deeper connection. And you know, we became friends. We be- were working together. It's it's really cool what happened next. Absolutely, and uh, I always uh, love connection with people, and always like to share visions, like to share those minds, and then share the dreams together as well. Because as Brian said, right. it's always better to to go for this road that we actually don't know where it's going together, or with bunch of people like minded thinking about the same things, removing their ceilings, because everybody's ceilings is different, but but when we all remove the ceilings, nobody gonna stop us and nothing can can stop us ever. That's the thing. And I think this is kind of mindset we should be starting as from tomorrow, as from Monday, new week, yeah? And this is resolution for 2020, uh, 2021. Just remove your own ceilings wherever the ceiling is, start to see blue sky, take it, it's yours, it's your vision, it's your dream. Ask people for help, reach out to them, they will definitely help you. But just right now, right now, don't, don't have the habit of putting it off to the future. You already have that nasty habit. Do something now, because tomorrow it's going to wear off, right? Tomorrow becomes the next day. You can't have the habit of doing it in the future. Do something now. Have, I mean, change it now. Absolutely. It it won't ever happen. Absolutely. Gary V said said one great thing recently. He said, what would you do? What would you do if this going to, if you knew that this is going to be the last day of your life? What you going to do? What action you going to take? That's the thing. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and just know, make it happen. And for me, it's the kind of thing where we talked about vision earlier and you're going to basically die without the vision. If, and you, here's a good indicator of how good your vision is. If the alarm clock wakes, goes off in the morning and you hit the snooze button, you really don't want to get out of bed, you have a terrible vision. That's an indication that your vision is lacking. You need a better vision. Now, if you have the alarm set for 6 a.m., and at 5 a.m. you're up and you can't wait to get started, I'll say now you have, you're onto something. So if for no other reason that you just want to like be excited about life, you really need to start opening up your possibilities. Because if you don't even want to get out of bed, that's just an indicator that, you know, your imagination is suffering. I mean, that shows that you, 
you know, you're, you're in this box and you don't have any hope of getting out. Why would you want to get up if you didn't see something better ahead? Right. But if you knew that if you get up, you know, if I'm laying in bed, I mean, I get up at like three or four in the morning with, you know, I can sleep till seven if I want to, I can sleep till noon if I want to, but I'm naturally waking up super early because I know like this is fun and this is creating so much more of like what juices you, like what makes you excited about being alive. And, you know, I have had those times in life where I hit the snooze button for an hour and I didn't want to get out of bed. And it's because I didn't have a vision. I wasn't looking forward to anything. I was just really kind of without even really knowing it, just kind of waiting to die because I had no hope because nothing was exciting, not, like nothing was to live for. And I'm very sympathetic to, and I have compassion for anyone in that state. You need to hang around more positive people, learn more about what's possible for you, and then open up to it without putting a lot of pressure on yourself. You could just say, look, what if I was able to leave my job and live this kind of lifestyle, be able to travel, work for my cell phone, um, I think most people here watching this are aspiring to that if they're not already doing that. But, you know, if if you're not fulfilling your purpose, like you're an artist in your heart, well, if you're not doing art, say, well, what if I had my paintings in galleries and I could actually go to these openings and hang with art people and we could talk about art and then people could buy my art? What if I could live like that? Well, that's entirely possible for you if you open yourself to it. Um, we're not talking only business, only money here. Um, Annie talent, passion, desire you have within you, if you're not expressing that, um, that's the lack of vision that's keeping you dead. Absolutely. You need to find a way. You know, if it's in you, it's in there for a reason, right? It wants to come out. So don't suppress it. You need to allow it. You need to allow it. You need to manifest, yeah, well, because this yep. is super important to live with this vision, yeah? As, as you were saying a few times, today you need to live with this vision you need to take this vision ahead you need to take people that are gonna help you with it they, they believe in this well because everybody can give yeah. a, little, a little bit you know and 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 it it can just make miracles you know this is the thing mm -hmm. but everything and it starts again i would say it here and here in your heart you need to open your heart as well this is super important. And it's hard to find people locally to make it all happen. I mean, I've still struggled with finding like intelligent, exciting people to have conversations with locally because locally there's just, yeah, it's basically normal people working normal jobs. It's hard to talk about high level business stuff. But when you go on the internet, I mean, it's so easy to find the people that are all about doing what you want to do. And before, as a younger version of myself, I thought I had to convince and manipulate like, okay, how do I trick people into doing what I want to do? Like, how do I convince them? You don't have to convince anyone, anything. You just need to find the people who are already wanting to do what you want to do. And now you've found your home. Now you've found your crowd, you're following. And then spending time with them can make that vision happen so much faster than, you know, struggling with people who have no interest or desire to do, you know, the kind of stuff you want to do. Absolutely, uh, and I, I'm always saying that that people uh, ask because I like to, you know, to to think that I'm the I'm the free spirit, I'm the citizen citizen of the world, and and because I'm always saying that my home is where people that I that I love are, but also people that think like me, that share the same passion and the same visions are. This is my home. I don't care about walls. I don't care about ceilings. As I said just be surrounded by 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 love and 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 this this visions this these dreams this what makes you makes me feel home absolutely and then <clears throat> spending time with appreciating your family <clears throat> having your business side of your life having your artistic expression it's about living fully you know the internet just gives us a great way to do part of that mental life that we need to do part of that connection we can find it online and then by creating that freedom to spend you know not working at the job now you have more time with your family you have more time to do the normal stuff that enriches life as well i mean last night my mom she just retired as a nurse 
and we're from Philadelphia and we made this friend. She's from Philadelphia too. So we had the idea, let's have a Philly Christmas party. So Philadelphia is all about sandwiches. So I made cheesesteaks. I made the uh, roast pork sandwich and I'm, we made hoagies. We made giant ones and then everyone had them. So we just thought that'd be a cool thing to do. And we were just hanging out, having a good time. And, you know, prior to that, I, I mean, I'm launching a TV network. So business has been really dominating my thoughts. But I just said, okay, the phone goes off. Now it's just enjoying life, right? And we just had a great time. And honestly, didn't think about business. It was just being with the people, enjoying ourselves because I realized that the work has been done, right? We have this created where that'll be there later. And because we have such a great team of people, a bunch of cool stuff happened while I was enjoying myself that I woke up the next morning and I typically don't work Sundays, but Adam, he's been doing the show on Sundays. And I thought, well, what a great way to kick this off one day before we go live. Um, while we're at this beach house, just taking the time to enjoy, you know, the milestone that we've reached launching a new business empire. Perfect. And guys, uh, we're gonna we're gonna probably wrap up because it's uh, it's been we were supposed to be half an hour now it's <laughs> now it's actually fifty six minutes so uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, Brian just last last comment last thing to just to just wrap it up so it's all in your mind whatever limit you think you have I challenge you at least stretch that 20, 30, 50 percent or like me, I try to 10 times it or even more. Uh, Journey.tv, we have so many programs here that's completely free. Watch Adam's show. I mean, the more I get to know Adam, the more I realize, wow, he, there's just so much that he knows that I don't know. It's, it's really enriched my life. And the other people at Journey TV, all the other show hosts, they've been rewarding in many different ways, talking health, wealth, happiness, just knowing great people motivational, inspirational, like they all have their own talents and abilities. And so many other people we've connected with in these mastermind groups. The whole point of journey.tv is to put you with good people, with good information and to let you turn something. You can watch it like entertainment and it'll rub off on you and inspire you to, to live a better life. Absolutely. And, uh, and uh, I would like to, to say as well, uh, one more time, guys, just think think with the vision remove the ceilings this is the thing for 2021 just uh, create your like-minded family uh, wherever you can offline on online find these people find your tribe and just go wherever you want to go and don't be afraid that that you can get it because you can i guarantee you you can you just need to reach out you just need to leave this this comfort zone and and just and just think there is no ceiling the sky is always blue and you, you can be whoever you want to be be yourself everyone else is taken <laughs> absolutely and guys, thanks a lot brian uh, from uh, uh, for this Sunday that that you actually broke your your uh, Sunday routine that you are not working on on Sundays, which I appreciate. But I obviously I kind of use I I pull few strings to actually make him to come <laughs> to <laughs> to this interview. It's such a lovely weather. Uh, you got uh, all day ahead of you in this uh, beautiful swimming pool and the beach. Uh, say hello to your uh, lovely wife and guys. Uh, Journey TV is on air from tomorrow, from Monday. So uh, check check uh, lots of there is fifteen shows there. So uh, check them out. You definitely gonna find something for yourself, something really really interesting. And obviously you can you can always if you got some ideas for the shows, you can always reach out to us and we can always talk about it because. There is a big chance that you your ideas will be that inspiring, that good, that we can actually we can actually make some show together. So always reach Absolutely. out. That's we are always open to discuss. Absolutely, we'll be having twenty four seven programming. We need more shows uh, after we launch this first round. So if you have a show idea, talk to us. Absolutely. So, uh, guys. 
have a great Sunday and have a great, great next week. Uh, hopefully you enjoy our a bit of philosophical conversation <laughs> today <laughs> and uh, hopefully you're gonna you're gonna tune in tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday and every day uh, starting from tomorrow to check uh, journey.tv uh, because there is definitely something f uh, for everyone and absolutely so one more time have a have a great week brian thanks one more time a again brother thanks a lot for joining us my pleasure Adam. i know you that, that you're just waiting to jump to this pool so i'm not <laughs> gonna keep you <laughs> any longer thanks a lot guys for for this uh, um, great hour and uh, we'll see you next week in journey tv and i'm 100 percent sure you're gonna love it thank you Aloha. Aloha.